Welcome to a Sea of Stars guide. In this video, we will be looking into how to unlock the Quizmaster on Brave Island and in the town of Lucent. But before we get there, I will show you a bit of video from the Necromancer Slayer on the same island because it's here it all begins because we need an item that can be found in this very chest in this room. Got Raplu. Raplu. It can attach to grapple points, enemies, and climbing both surfaces. So, now that we have looked at where the Grapplu is to be found and what it is used for, let's move on to some more details about the side mission going under the umbrella of Quiz Master. So, this quest is quite lengthy if you want to 100 percent it and if you want to do that it will be done in the end game of the sea of stars and that has to do with several different things that we'll go into more detail about right now so the first thing i've already seen you cannot start on this mission before you have the grub loop that's done through story progression it is also not needed in order to get the true ending of sea of stars it is needed in order to get one of the four flimsy hammers that can be found in the game and those hammers you need in order to unlock a secret that is not tied to the true ending but is nice all the same. I will not spoil it in this video but it is one of the four hammers and you need all of them. And also even when you have unlocked the quiz master and the quiz master is unlocked on Wraith Island in the town of Lucent, even when you have done that which you can do after unlocking the Gapu and doing some other things, you cannot complete the entire side quest before late game because the quiz master requires questions and the questions are found in question packs and there are 11 of them scattered throughout the game and the last one you find very late in the game. So even if you complete them all, as soon as you get them, you will have to wait for a good long why? So, having listed all of this, let's jump into some more specifics. So, let's start by showing you where to go on the map. Here we are at Wraith Island. At this point, I already have the Grub Loot. So, we are now on our way to the town of Lucent, which is the only town on Wraith Island. And as you can see, I now have the Grub Loot. Sometimes I can hear cheers and applause coming from the river. It's really strange. So this interaction right here is actually a little hint that there is something by the riverside that happens in this town and they are hearing cheers and applause. And that's pretty weird. But is it weird if there's a quiz master show? So this is a hint that there is something in Lucent worth finding. But in order to get there, we need to get a key in order to go into a shed that was previously locked and that shed can be found on the of the northern part of the town so firstly we'll need to go to this corner and talk to this ghost where is it where is it oh hello have you seen my turbo cooking i could really go about eating it right now and at this point we do not have the cookie but we need the cookie and it can be found in Lucent. So we are in luck. But in order to get the cookie, we do need the grab loop, which is why you cannot start on this before you have it. Okay, let's go and find that cookie. So now that we have the group loop, we can do this. And this leads to some additional areas where you can get some loot. So you might as well do that when you're out here. Found one obsidian ore. But what we are looking for is the cookie. So just move on. It's kind of linear, even though I struggle to find the ledge here. But eventually you get to this balcony. And through it you can go into this room with a chest. Found one turbo cookie. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here. Just making sure. 
a strange cookie for ghosts. Yeah, so now we have what the ghost needs and conveniently you can just jump down. And now we can head back to the ghost and give her the cookie. And as I mentioned earlier, you can do this as soon as you have the grab loop, but it might be slightly more difficult to do what's coming now. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, hello. Have you seen my turbo cookie? I could really go about eating it right now. Oh, thank you so much. Now, my reign of terror can finally begin. Face me. So yeah, at this point, she is a pushover. But if you do this as soon as you can, it might be a little bit more challenging, even though it shouldn't be super hard. Thank you. Search my grave. Got shed key. Pro Bali. Probably. Unlocks the creepy shed in Lucent. So there we have it. We now have the shed key. And the shed is in the upper northern corner of the map. Where are we going right now? So past the bridge. Shed key. when you get down here it's pretty linear so just follow along the track and you'll get here did you come to play yes Quizmaster. Good evening, everyone. Please welcome our new contestant, Valer. So, there we have it, basically. We have now gone through where to get the girl blue, what things are involved with the general side quest of the Quizmaster, how to get the hints that it's in Lucent, what to do in Lucent in order to get the cookie, and how to get the shed key, and where to use the shed key and eventually ending up on this stage where you can now perform quizzes with the quiz master. I will not be showing you where all of the question packs can be found. That hasn't really to do with how to get here. But for this one, we have arrived at the end. You now have everything needed in order to unlock the quiz master in Sea of Stars. I really hope that this little guide has helped you get to this stage right here. Thank you all for watching my guide dealing with how to find the quiz master in Sea of Stars. Hopefully it helped you get here. If it did, please hit those like and subscribe buttons and I would love it if I saw you again in future videos. But for now, it's time to say bye bye.